Hello, I'm John with Covery, a platform for managing cloud deployments while maintaining flexibility and high levels of application control. In this video, I'll show you how to set up AWS permissions and deploy a Kubernetes cluster with just a few clicks. The first step is setting up Amazon permissions for Covery. So we'll log into our AWS account then navigate to the I am dashboard. Click user groups, go to create group and input the name admins. It's important to get this name right. Don't assign any permissions, scroll to the bottom of the page and click create group. Next, click users, then add user. Name the user something like covery and select access key programmatic access, then go to the permissions page. Here, assign the covery user to the admins group and click next. Tagging is a good practice, so set a service tag with the value of covery. Go to the review page and create the user. You'll need to share the access key and secret access key on this page with covery. Copy the keys to a safe spot now, then click close to return to the user summary page. To make new access keys, visit the security credentials tab here. Now we'll set up permissions. Under the permissions tab, click add inline policy, then select the JSON option. Copy permissions from the link below. Add that information to the form, then click Review Policy. Set a policy name, then click Create Policy. AWS setup is done. Now, the easy part, deploying a Kubernetes cluster. To start, navigate to the Covery console. Log in with a Git provider. If you haven't already, select a service plan. For this demo, we can use the free account. Next, add an organization name, click Create, then click Complete My Settings to go to the Organization Settings page. To deploy your cluster, click the Clusters tab, then Add Cluster. Add a name and select Amazon Web Services as the cloud provider. Select a region close to your users, then click Create. Now we'll add credentials. Click the ellipses next to your cluster and click Settings. Then go to the Credentials tab, click Add, make a name for your credentials, then input the public and secret keys from earlier, or create and add a new set of keys. Click Save, then Deploy by clicking the ellipses, hitting Install. Review the information and click Install. Cluster installation can take up to 40 minutes. It's done when you get an email and see a green status indicator. On the EKS console, we can see the deployed cluster. Congratulations. Using Covery, we've successfully deployed a scalable and secure Kubernetes cluster with just a few clicks. In the next video, We'll deploy an application and make it available on the web. Thanks for your time. Please share what you'd like to deploy down in the comments or visit covery.com to get started.